Shalom, Pastor. I come back to you. The truth of my praise, Yahweh, Shem Yah, Shabbat Shem And I'm going to entitle this video simply: If our God will be hid, and you know the rest of the uh, verse, it is hid to them that are lost. Anyway, I just want to say a few things before I actually go into the topic. Okay, the last video that I put up is uh, the title is. Uh, a musty video, and um, you know, people caught on to the title because it has 643 views. It's not even a day old. Matter of fact, I put it up last night. Anyway, when you click on the video, it leads you to a it leads you to Odyssey, which every brother should have a Odyssey account and a sister should, should, you know, have an account as well to, if they want to put comments, you know, they want to bid us shalom and whatever. But um, these controversial videos, uh, you know, YouTube would take them down quick. So, let me do this. Uh, this is who will take the microchip. This was put up by uh, Farrell said that. And when I did this video to lead you to the Odyssey account, I said, I can't do this video and put it on YouTube because they'll take it down. And in the back of my mind, I said, they're going to take this guy's video down just because of the title, you know, the MOTB. And he mentions the MOTB, he mentions, uh, you know, Revelation 13. Well, he, 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 he quotes Revelation 13. He equates the, uh, the, uh, the, the, the onion dip, I got to change the words up, with the MOTB. So he, he's, he is aware of the scriptures because that's a quote that he made from the scriptures. Anyway, like I said, this, the video that he put up didn't even last because I caught it yesterday. I caught it yesterday and um, the video didn't even last a day unless he put up two days ago, but it didn't even last a day or two before they caught up with it and took it down. And I listened to most of the video and I don't know what he said that was, I don't know, offensive or against community guidelines, except if the community guidelines is, if you speak about the MOTB, the way we don't want you to speak about it, we're gonna take you down. I mean, that's the community guidelines, which when you go back years ago, we, put up countless videos, us here at GMS, we put up countless videos of the MOTB. We, we called it straight up what it, what it was. We didn't use the acronym MOTB. And none of those videos were taken down. Now, all of, all of a sudden, within the last, I don't know, year, year, year and a half, two years maybe, they're in, they're in the habit of taking these videos down. Now, if you do a video like IUIC, ISUPK, and others, if you do videos on MOTB and you say it's an embargo or Christianity, they, they will not take it down. They won't take it down. And, and they'll take some of the older videos that we did, they took, they took down or they, you know, they shadow ban. Because if you put in, if you type in, um, you know, MOTB outright, not using the acronym, and put in Israelite GMS or whatever, you you're not gonna you're not gonna find it. You're gonna have to scroll, 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 scroll. And you'll, you'll run into IUIC videos, and then eventually you'll run into maybe one or two videos of ours. So you know they've been briefed on what the MOTB is. Anyway, let me go from here to. Come back 
to Okay, let me click on this one. Okay, let me find the marker. Okay, this is from a live show. Uh, we want we want smoke uh, number one forty one. Don't be scared. Be prepared. So as soon as I put it on, um, this individual pops up the Ronin Refine, and he's debating with a deacon, a deacon Hakar on the subject of hell. And Deacon Hakar was 100% right when he broke it down to the man, and the man kept saying, well, let's look at this scripture. Let's jump to that scripture. There is an actual place called hell. I mean, I'm putting words in his mouth. You got to actually watch the video if it's still up. And um, the deacon Hakar, you know, he he was kind of like this is this this is this is going nowhere. So basically, he was trying to get the guy off, which I would do the same thing. You know, you explain something to somebody and they can't get it. And they, what about this scripture? What about that scripture? And if you go to this and you go to the Hebrew and the word reads this, and what about Noah and the hell and 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 the and the, and the fish? The Lord said it was a belly. Of, the scriptures say it was in the belly of, of it was um in the in the, the belly of hell I believe it was I'm not going to go to it somebody can put it up in the description I mean in the uh, comment section of the video but I said and I even put up a couple of comments you know and uh, that's why I entitled it, but climbeth up some other way understanding hell hell is the grave when someone when someone dies you put them in the grave or you put them in a sepulcher because if that's the case and there's a such a thing called hell that means that the lord the most i put our lord in hell and burnt uh, he was burning for three days you know, you you could be you could be uh engulfed in flames in, in a matter of seconds and you go you crispy you know, so the Most High is going to put our Lord in hell and have him burning and screaming. Doesn't make any sense. When it said he was put in hell, matter of fact, let me go to that. I believe that's, I'm positive that's uh, Acts 2. Acts 2. And I said on that video, this video right here, wait a minute. I said that this guy is gonna come on my on one of my videos, you know, the next day, the next morning, whatever. But he came with a different uh, avatar instead of the Ronin refined. Here it is. This, this is where I remember. They said the, Ron, the, Ron, the Ronin refined too. It says uh, Raphael Israel, which that's not even Hebrew. Uh, then he says Shalom. Where do you get Shalom from? From watching GMS. So I, he started by watching GMS. You know, I believe, the, I believe he's sincere, but he didn't come through the right. He, did, he didn't come the right way. He didn't come through the straight gate. What he should have did was, you know, got, saw some of the GMS videos and maybe the others and say, I'm going to go with GMS and find out if you're that serious about it, find out where a camp is. Maybe a camp is two hours away. You can work out something where you drive out there, you know, once a week or whatever the case may be. Or, or there might be a camp. You can correspond with us anyway, you know. But you came in your own way. You came in your own way. And, you know, you took, you know, that's why you call on the true name of the Most High and the Son. You say Shalom. You say, um, 
you know, you'll, you'll, you'll talk like a, a one Western because you came up under the one Western. You mainly came under us, but like I said, you jumped around. And, you, and you're deceived. Whether you got that old Christianity still up in you, you know, the Lord spoke to uh, the, the, the scriptures say you got to come in as a as a new new creature. I read a precept. I believe it was from this video. Could have been from another. Where I read about Saul, how, the, how it says that Saul was among the uh, the, the prophets, and it said uh, Samuel explained to him that that your your heart is going to change. And his heart did change and he was prophesying. He was actually prophesying with, the, with a company of prophets. But then he, what happened was the Mosai took the spirit from him. The Mosai set him up as a king. And because he didn't obey the Mosai, which is at the center of witchcraft, he took the spirit back from him and he felt the spirit leave him. And then the scripture said, he took the righteous spirit from him and Replace that righteous spirit with a demon. Anytime a righteous spirit is taken off you, guess what? You get a surprise. <laughs> you get a demon. All of us that came in here had demons on us until the most I took the demon off of us. But when you go back, when you turn back, and there's many examples, guys just bug the hell out. You get, that's why you get guys that that are part of Israel, then they leave Israel, then they shoot up, shoot up everything, you know, kill their family up, shoot up everything because of, because of them demons. There are eight demons that are on you. You have one demon on you, which was bad enough. Now you got eight demons. And that first demon is the weakest demon among the rest of the seven. It said he shall bring uh, Matthew 12. He shall, he shall call seven demons or bring seven demons mightier than himself. So this time you can't get out. And we've seen it. We actually seen it. We've seen guys uh, who said so, some, somebody said something. Damn. About some demons got, got on somebody. Anyway, it says, uh, Should I start reading this? Anyway, you know what I'm going to do? Let me just give you a couple of precepts. See, what you got to do, the bottom line is, you, you know, you're still on the earth. If you're one of the elect, if you're not one of the elect, you're going to be confused. The most High is going to give you a strong delusion that you may believe, believe in a lie. You can have everything right. You can say, well, Israelites, white man is Esau. Uh, you know, everything that we teach. But if you go off on one thing, if you say that hell is an actual place, and the scriptures that you wrote down, and I'll read them, I'll come back and read them. But the scriptures that you wrote down, you got to understand the scriptures. The Ethiopian eunuch, which was an Israelite, he, um, uh, Philip said, know if thou what thou read it. And uh, the, the Ethiopian eunuch said, um, how can I let some man guide me? So you have to be gui guided. You can't come in your own way. You can't come in your own way. That's why you messed up in the mind. Now, let me just read some of these precepts. Let me read this whole, okay, Shalom, apostle. Thank you for, uh, what am I apostle of? What does it mean to be an apostle? A, an apostle pursuant to the scriptures is a man that knows all truth, right? So is the most I gonna set me up as an apostle and um, not give me the whole truth? That doesn't make any, that makes the most high a liar. So you acknowledge me as an apostle. And that's the highest thing you can be on this earth, biblically, by the way. And on a spiritual level, all brothers at GMS that are teachers are, are apostles too. 
because it simply means uh, sent, sent away. It said, uh, uh, Shalom Apostle, thank, thank you for, for the edification. All right, he says, thank you for the edification. Now, he should have said, but you went off on the hell thing, because hell is a real place. It shows you that the most High is not dealing with you. The only thing you can do is go on the fast, humble yourself, and uh, the most High seeketh a contrite heart, meaning you got to humble yourself. And if you are of the elect, you can humble yourself all you want. If you're not of the elect, you're not going to get it. You might say you're right. You know, hell is the grave, but you're going to go off on something else. And if you're not careful, the most high might put a demon on you to join up with the IUIC. And if you join up with the IUIC, brother, you are done. You are done. Because the most high is not dealing with the IUIC. Neither is it dealing with the ISUPK. Now, they know that the Israelites, and that's all good. But if you go, if you get with the IUIC, or if you get with the ISUPK, you're going to have 20 demons on you. And them demons, <laughs> them demons, man, they're going to stay on your ass. You got demons on you right now. Ak, you got demons on you right now. For you to teach that Christian, Roman Catholic, garbage that there's an actual place called hell and that goes back to the Greeks Greek mythology uh, that's uh, was, was Hades Hades is the, is the brother of, uh, uh, of uh, Zeus and his Roman counterpart is um, what is his name uh, damn it's in James. It's in the book of James. Matter of fact, let me go to James 5. Plutius. I want to get his name right. I'll go into a little bit of history. James 5. Go, go, to, go to now, you rich, weep and howl for your miseries. That shall come upon you. It's not talking about they're gonna burn in hell. So let's look up the word rich. Rich. The word is plusius. Pluto plusius. It means wealthy, abundant in material uh, resources, according, uh, uh, abounding, abundantly uh, supplied. Uh, abounding rich in Christian verse, virtues. I just want to get to the story. Uh, let me try. Let me try it this way. All right, Plutos. Let's try Plutos. One minute. One minute. I'm expecting an important. Call.
forgive me, I was expecting an important call. Anyway, so let's deal with the word Kalutos real quick. Real quick. Yeah, Plutos meaning that which one is made rich. Now, who are the who are the rich of this earth? The Jeff Bezos is the the uh, uh, what is this? The uh, Bill Gates. Uh, the um, uh, what's this guy? The, the Tesla guy, Elon Musk. Pre pretty much those are middle management. Those are not. Those are those are just multi billionaires. 50 billion, 100 billion, 150 billion. Uh, Warren Buffett's, you know, they're just middle management. The super rich are the trillionaires. They are trillionaires. There's people out there worth hundreds, hundreds, hundred plus trillion dollars. They have full control of the earth and they got it supposedly by uh, Plutius. Plutos. So let's look at this. Yeah, because that Roman, let me see, Plutos, let me do it this way. Should do it this way. I'll put the U. Plutos. Give, give me a second here. Give me a second here. Plutos. Greek Greek God. Let me try mythology. Okay, now Plut Plutos a Plut Plutius is a Jake made up brother the brother of uh, of um, uh, Zeus. Okay, Hades. Pluto is the Greek counterpart of the Greek. Is Pluto is the Roman counterpart to the Greek god Hades, the brother of Zeus. It says Greek Hades, unseen, also called Pluto or Pluton, the wealthy one or the giver of wealth. That's why when you go to James five. I said, go, te go to now, ye rich. It ain't talking about us. It ain't talking about Jay-Z. It ain't talking about Oprah. Oprah is worth about, what, $3 billion? It's that's, she's, she's a welfare case. All right? Um, in ancient Greek religion, god of the underworld, Hades, was a son of the titans, uh, Kronos, which means time and Rhea. Kronos is the is the uh, father of, uh, of Pluto and Zeus, and Rhea is a mother, and both of the deities, Zeus, Poseidon, Poseidon, that's another brother, another son of Kronos, and, and Kronos means time, Demet, Demeter, Hera, and Hestia. Some of them were girls, some of them were boys, and mostly boys, uh, was Pluto. Was Pluto an evil god? 
There's a story of Greek mythology called, um, what is it, Orfe Orpheus. Orpheus, they made a Brazilian version of that, of that, that story uh, in Brazil called Black Orpheus. It should be on YouTube. Uh, it's a great movie, great movie. I saw it as a kid and they just took a, a Greek mythology and made it into a, like the time of, this was, this was made about in the 60s. And then they show you what hell is. Hell, before it came to the Roman Catholic Church, it, it, it was something that a writer, during it, which was a Jake, during the time of the Greek, um, when the Greeks were, were on a high level, let's say, during the time of Alexander, you know, during that time period, the Greeks, you had, uh, they had superheroes, and these were the superheroes. It says, was Pluto an evil god? Was Pluto an evil god? Pluto was not an evil god. He was the ruler of the underworld. Hades was sometimes perceived as the more evil of the two. He, was, he wasn't really evil, he was just evil. Pluto, the god of death. Let's see what that says. Was Pluto the god of death? See, your, your RCC, your Roman Catholicism, Roman Catholic Church, and all your baby churches, the, the Mormons, the Baptists, the Methodists, the Calvinists, the Protestants, they, they're all daughters of, spiritual daughters of the RCC. So they all believe in the same thing. They all believe in like vocab. He believes in hell. He believes, he believes that you're gonna burn in hell because he's really a Roman Catholic. All Christians are Roman Catholics. Pluto was the mysterious Roman God of the dead and Lord of the underworld, sharing his realm with his stolen bride, Persephina. He also ruled over Auris and precious stones and was known as the bringer of wealth. So this is nothing but a Greek mythology. Now, Pluto didn't give Bezos and, and uh, Bill Gates and the, the, the Rothschilds and the Rockefellers this wealth. It was, it was a spiritual demon Satan, because this is their world. What did, what did the spiritual demon Satan to, said to the Lord in Matthew 4? He said, bow down to me and you, you would have all these kingdoms and the, and the glory of them. So what did these guys do when they, when they come into money? They recruit them. What's this guy that did the interview with uh, Alex Jones that died of cancer? Um, damn, I can't, um, damn, I can't think of his name. The Apostle Cabal, he speaks about him. Um, can't think of his name. You know what I'm gonna do? I don't need this no more. Let me go to uh, damn. Let me try this. Interview with Alex. Jones. Um, let me see. Uh, microchip. Let me try microchip. My crow chip. Yeah. Can't think of his name. It's right on the tip of my tongue. And I think there's a there's a video. Damn man.
damn, I hate this. Let me, let me, let me, let me go uh, trading places. Okay, it should give me the producer. Producer. Pro. Producer. Okay, Aaron Russo. Aaron Russo. That's how famous he got. He he was behind the movie. He had like a club, famous club in Chi Town. Then you know, he ran for to be governor, and he did a movie. So he was a, he was in the money, and um, he he was he, he had his, enough money where they noticed him and they he sat down with Nick Rockefeller, and they they tried to recruit him. But he 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 wasn't with that. And in that in that video, he speaks about the the MOTB. He speaks about the MOTB, and he was like he was against it. Yeah, Aaron Russo. So these people be, get their riches because they make a pact with the spiritual demon Satan, meaning they come under these guys that lead you to the spiritual demon Satan. So now let me come back over here too. And I went through this before. So hell is just a, a, a myth. Let me do this, let me do this. Hell from Greek mythology. Let's see what it says. Let's see what it says was, what is the Greek hell called? Who is the Greek God of hell? What are the three parts of the underworld? Oh, there are three parts of hell then. So if you believe in that hell thing, there's three parts of hell. The only speaker the Greek underworld can be thought of as being up of three different regions. So there's actually regions in hell. Your scriptures speak about the lower parts of hell. I guess that's the bottom region. But that whole, let me see, hell, Greek mythology, and Roman, let me try this, Roman Catholic, Catholic Church. Let me try this. In the Roman Catholic Church, many other Christian churches, such as the Methodist, Baptists, and Episcopalians, and some Greek Orthodox Church, hell is taught as a final destination. It doesn't give you the Greek origins. I don't know how to do it, but I read something which, where basically Greek mythology and Roman Catholicism. Let's try this one. Let's see what this says. Okay, Greek. Greek mythology and Roman Catholicism, afterlife edition. Okay, let me see what this says. Can hardly see it. Greek mythology and Roman Catholicism, afterlife edition. Greek mythology and Roman Catholicism. Greek, uh, uh, Catholic, Catholicism and Greek mythology are quite different from each other. Even so, they have some similarities in their beliefs of the afterlife. Like, let me look, Roman Catholicism came long after the Greeks. So who came up with the concept of hell? The Greeks, it was, it, it's just a myth, it's mythology 
and they and what they did was they intertwined it with the Bible. So you there's hell, there's an actual place called hell. Like Catholicism, like Catholicism, Greek mythology believes there are three places souls may end up, heaven, purgatory, and hell. So where did the Catholics get that whole concept of the purgatory and heaven and hell? They got it from the Greeks and Catholicism or Elysium. I was watching that movie, it came on, again, came out with 2014. Um, what is this? The S, the S, Fogel Fields and Tartus in Greek mythology. Each of these places have their similarities and differences within each religion. One key difference between Catholicism and the Greek mythology is the belief in an underworld. Remember, this is Greek mythology. This is made up. These were the superheroes of that time. Zeus and Poseidon. In Greek mythology, the underworld is Hades. Realm, every soul goes to the underworld after death. There is a three-headed dog. There's a three-headed dog down here. Are you, is vocab teaching that? Is there a three-headed pit bull down there ready to bite your ass? Why didn't the rich man and the rich man and Lazarus get bit by it? Why didn't he say, Abraham, these dogs are biting the shit out of me, man. What do I do? Give me a dog. Instead of asking for the fucking water, he should have asked for a dog bone. Could you send me down a stake to get these dogs from off my ass? You see how stupid it is when you go and reach? These Christians are fucking stupid. They're not stupid. They're not stupid. I'm, I'm insulting the stupid people. They're fucking brain dead. They're crazy. They're bugged out. They're demons. They're straight up demons. Vocab alone is a demon from hell. <laughs> These people are bugged the hell out. That's why, that's why no Israelite want to deal with you. When a crazy person comes along and start talking to you, you perceive this guy ain't playing with a full deck. When you see him the next day, you're going to move. You don't even, wanna, you don't even want, want him in your presence. That's vocab alone. Vocab Malone is a crazy person, but he's really not a crazy person. He's set up to lead the true crazies. Those people that follow him, Jake's that follow him, they're bugged out of their damn mind. They're bugged out of their goddamn mind. They're following the, this demon who's well aware. Look, that demon, that small hat, okay? That small hat, he knows that we are the Israelites. There is a three-headed dog there's a three-headed dog. Uh, what is that? Uh, Sir B. Russ. Guarding the entrance and a, and a uh, ferryman. <laughs> a, fer a ferryman. The ferryman. And this guy was picking up somebody and the guy said, he said, you're the ferryman. You're the boatman. You know, you carry people from one to that. I started laughing. Let me, let me, let me, let me go to Ferryman. Roman Catholicism is not, I'm going to get back to you, Ronan. What the hell is this all about? Okay, let me, let me do this. I don't got to read no more. I don't got to read no more. If you do, sir, if you search, you know, you guys, what does this mean? And why do you, how do you come across this? Because I, because I research things, man. Let me go to the Ferryman. The ferry man. So they got to be a fer So guess what? The rich man had to get in that ferry. So he can go the ferry, ferry, uh, ferry man of Hades. There's, oh, here it is. <laughs> it's funny. It was like two, two, three weeks ago. He said, you the boat man. You know, the boat man that carry. Uh, and I look and I say, yeah, I am the boat man. It says, uh, Ch Charon in Greek mythology, Charon or uh, Charon, uh, a psycho pomp, pomp, whatever that means, the ferryman of Hades who carries souls of the newly deceased who had received the rites of burial across the river Etch, 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 
H run or in some letters, some later accounts across the river sticks. I remember the river sticks, the river sticks that divided the world of the living from the dead. So guess what? What happened to the rich man? They should have said he went on the boat and as he was going on the boat, he was looking back at Abraham and the boat man, the ferry man dropped him. See, when you really study and research, that's why when you deal with a Christian, when you deal with a bugged out Christian, you got to try to get away from them motherfuckers, man. They're bugged out. They're, they're bugged. They're crazy people. They belong in an insane asylum. They're bugged out. The only one that's not bugged out is Vocab Malone because he's a demon. He knows what he's doing, man. He knows that we have the truth. So, you know, that, and I read that the similarities of uh, the Greek mythology hell and the Roman Catholic, Roman Catholic RCC hell, the similarities. Now, the, the Roman Catholics got it from, from the Greeks. It's nothing but a myth. That's why you, my man Ronan, you see, you better humble yourself. I'm gonna tell you, this, this is your last warning. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta kind of steal that from uh, Apostle Rhymelock. This is your last warning. If you don't humble yourself and get with a GMS camp, not an IUIC camp, because you're gonna get more demons on you. Not an ISUPK camp, because you're gonna, you're gonna get, you're gonna get about a hundred demons on you. You can't even get with the Sakari because you're gonna get demons on you too. Even though I like Sakari, you know, we go back and forth. They go into the scriptures and everything, but they need, they need to, they need to, um, they need to get rid of Alazar and come to GMS and get it the right way, you know, because they ain't they going off. They go, they go off, they go, they're on point on a lot of things, but they go off on certain things. You know. But they like to go into the, you know, the precepts. They got like you like a lot of precepts which is a good thing, but they got to fully come full circle, you know? Uh, let me see. Let me come, I'm a little all over the place. But climb it up some other way. So let me go back to this guy. And I said that he was gonna actually come on my comment board and say something. So let me let me finish reading this and then I'm gonna close. Uh, Shalawam, thank you. For another, y'all know, know this guy, Ronan. Uh, I think uh, uh, Elder uh, um, Yashawamba did a video on him or two. Um, uh, Apostle uh, Arayim Lab, I believe, did a video on him and spoke about him. I think Apostle Debar and many others, all right? But he's kind of been floating around, you know, with his own doctrine, which he's clearly going off. He got demons on him. If he's one of the elect, he got to humble himself, and then he got to come under the tutelage of uh, a GMS. And the ones of you that can't get it, just forget him. As as um, Abba said, just forget him. Just forget him. It says Shalom, Apostle, thank you for edification, but he didn't receive all the ed edification. He took, you know, he didn't eat the whole plate. Okay? So I am so I'm through, Apostle. Yes, if you keep going down that road, you are through. You will be destroyed. The Lord will uh, deceive you to, to receive that uh, MOTB if you don't get your act together. And ultimately, if, you, if you're not of the elect, you ain't going to make it. This is why we humbly say the hope, we call ourselves the hopefully elect. What you got to do is humble yourself. You got to go on the fast. You got, well, I suggest you go on the fast. I suggest you humble yourself. I suggest you go to sleep and wake up as a new creature and come deal, come under the tutelage of GMS. GMS is your only hope, you know, as far as men teach you. How can, how can I know except the man guide me? You go to IUIC and you go to ISUPK, you go, you, them demons are waiting. They're waiting for you. They, they dare, they double dare you to go with them guys because you will get bugged out. If so, then Elder Manatezak said, I should flush myself. <laughs> well, he was being nice. You should, you, you should flush yourself, which, which means going to fast. 
You might go on a three day water fast. You might go on a one day day of atonement type fast and get into the house. Don't bother nobody. Don't defile yourself and get in the room and pray and, and come with a contrite heart. And if you're one, if you're one of the elect, the most high will open up your eyes. Right now, your eyes are closed, partially closed. Whatever that means. I, well, flush is a good thing. Get rid of those. He's telling you to get rid of them toxins, which are demons. I come into the truth as a young man. And you know, you know what it says about it, a, a, a novice, right? So you got a lot of pride in you. Not a novice, at least being lifted up with pride, he come under the condemnation of the devil. The devil got you, son. Have been laid, have been led astray by my elders. Now I don't know who he's talking about as elders. If he's talking about us, then he's really got he's got tons of demons on him. You know, he's got a whole warehouse of demons on him. It said, have been led astray by my elders. And I I assume that he's talking about us. We didn't let we didn't lead nobody astray. All right. I don't want to perish. Okay, good. That's a sign of humility. But not my my will be done, only the Father's. If you can help me understand these, these three things, maybe there might be hope. So you're acknowledging that you don't have it. My, my question to you is, look, completely humble yourself, come under the, the, the harsh tutelage of the GMS. See, I'm gonna tell you an individual that came up on the GMS in and in a, he came through, uh, he didn't come through the straight gate. He came through another way and the most high opened him up to the demons. That's Captain Tazariak. Captain Tazariak, under the name of Madai, I believe it was, he, he was on the, uh, the different chats with some of the brothers um, from GMS. Uh, Yashawamba was one of them. And he was learning under them. And the, the only problem he had is about the woman. He was hard on the woman. He couldn't get, he couldn't see that. And eventually this, the demon said, okay, you're going to buck up against this truth. I'm going to lead you right to ISUPK. That's why the man took the mark. He, at first he said, I ain't going to take, I don't need the mark. And then all of a sudden he took it. Because of who? Because, it's, because of that chief demon of General Johanna. That's Plut Plutius in the, <laughs> in the flesh. Look, y'all should have then been done woke up to, to General Yohannan. When he made that statement about go ahead and taking the, uh, the, the, the jump shot, you should, have, you should have jumped ship. They said, I'm just, I'm not, and look, I ain't got no hate, no real hate for Yohanna. I, grew, I came up with Yohanna. We were young men together. That brother was cool as hell. I remember to this day, this was back in like 80, had to be 89, 88. My phone was turned off and I owed like 82. You know how you had the Ma Bell phone or whatever, and you had to uh, you had to pay a certain amount. Well, my shit was so fucked up. I said, you got to pay the whole 82. And, Haiti, and I wasn't working at that particular time. And um, I, I didn't have that. He said, I can't call. I tried to call. I said, man, they cut my phone off. And Johann, General Johannes said, uh, how much, how much, you know, because he had some money. You know, he had came into some money or something. He said, how much, how much is it going to be to put your phone back on? I said, 8250. He said, here, yeah. he gave me a hundred. I paid it. I remember that to this very day, you know, and the brother was cool as hell. But guess what? In the interim of all these splits and everything happening, those demons got on him. You know, the, the, the demons got on him. The demons are on him. He's saying that uh, John the Baptist fell out the truth. That's a demon. That's a demon. Take the jump shot. That's a demon. You can have sex on the Sabbath. That's a demon. The Lord would never say nothing like that. Can a, can a missile destroy a spirit? Nope. Matthew 20, 10, verse 28. And what does the second resurrection take place? Well, the second resurrection is talking about uh, now. It's talking about now. I, I got to go. I got to go into that. These are good, good topics right here this is the second re resurrection but i got to go into it you know it speaks about the second death resurrect just means to back uh was it back 
to being erect, meaning standing back up. That's a fulfillment of uh, the second resurrection, you can say, is a fulfillment of the uh, Ezekiel 37 and um, Revelation 11 uh, take place. I'll say it this way. It's taken place. Matter of fact, let me do this. Let me do this. I want to go out to make a couple of shekels, but Spirit got me doing something else. Okay, let me come, let me go to Revelation. Okay, it says here, 1 Peter, 1 Peter 3, verse 21. It says, uh, light figure will to even baptism who have also uh, now save us, not to put him away of the filth of the flesh, but to answer the most high conscience toward the most high by the resurrection of the Hamashiach. What does it mean by resurrection? It means to, to stand back up, to come back to life, to be quickened, re-quickened. Resurrection. So let's go see what it means. A rising up. Was not the Lord risen up? The second resurrection, therefore, the, I'll go back to that. A rising up, raising from a seat. A rising from the dead. That of the Messiah. A Messiah. That of all men at the end of this present age. Esau's age. The resurrection of certain ones. History who were restored to life. Let me see what that's all about. Women received their dead, raised to life again, and others were tortured, not accepting deliverance, and they might obtain a better resurrection. Then we come back. Second. Okay, Revelation 20, verse 5. But the rest of the dead lived not until a thousand years were finished. This is, and the rest of the dead is talking about these other nations. You know, they're going to be un, under us. And then we're going to put them back under their vine and fig tree. We're going to set them in order, but they're going to be up under us. After a thousand years, they're going to have some form of freedom, but they're going to be up under us. We're not going to be beating Elamites all day. And Ishmaelites. We're not going to be kicking Ishmaelites in the ass all day, every day. <laughs> this, this is the first resurrection, right? It says, it says, blessed and holy is he that hath part in the first resurrection. So I read the word resurrection. It means to raise back up on such the second death. The first death is what? By water. The second death is what? By fire. That's in um, uh, Second Peter 2, I believe it is. On such the second death have no, no power, but they shall be priests. Who, who's going to be priests? The Israel, Israelite men of the Most High and of the Messiah and shall reign with him a thousand years. And, that, and what is that talking about? The Israelites that died by this fire they're going to come back to us because we're going to have women. We're going to have many wives in the kingdom and we're going to, and they're going to be, they're going to be uh, brought back quick, quickly. All right. It says the second death have no power. Let me, let me, let me do this. So the only ones that's going to be resurrected mentally, spiritually, and ultimately physically are going to be the elect. The rest of us, uh, the rest of y'all are not going to make it. 
Okay, so let me read these precepts and I'll get ready to close. Revelation 2, verse 11, uh, he, he that overcometh shall not be hurt of the second death. What's the second death? The destruction, the missiles. You're going to have a, a more Israelites that's going to die and suffer the death of Esau and the other nations. Then that's going to make it, all right? Revelation 7. Uh, Revelation 20, verse 6. Blessed and holy is he that hath part in the first resurrection on which on such the second death hath no power because we're going to be delivered out of here. The first resurrection goes with the second death. We're going to be delivered from the second death. The second death is by way of fire. Have no power, but they shall be priests. And the most have, and I read that, a thousand years. Uh, Revelation 20, verse 14. And death and hell was cast into the lake of fire. Now, Christians will tell you the lake of fire is hell. Well, how can you cast hell into hell? Well, let's take a one group of fire. No, 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 there's only one hell. Well, according to the Greek mythology, there's three levels of hell, which they, the, the Roman Catholic got that from the Greeks. And there's a dog, a three-headed dog down there. And then there's a man, the, the ferry man, the boat man. He got to take you. You can't go to hell unless the ferry man put you in that motherfucking boat and, 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 uh, and rolls down the river sticks. Okay, and put your ass in hell. That's mythology. This is the second death. It said, in death and hell will cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. Revelation 21, verse 8. But the fearful and the unbelieving and the abominable and murderers and whoremongers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars shall have their part and this includes israelites in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone which is the second death the second death the first death was the flood let me prove that let me prove that second uh, second peter two if i'm not mistaken if it's not two, it's three. And spared not the old world, but saved Noah, the eight person. I mean, eight persons, there were seven persons with him, his wife, his sons and their wives. A preacher of righteousness, meaning he came back as an Israelite, bringing the flood upon the world of the ungodly. And turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah uh, into, you know what I mean? Let me, let, me, let me do it this way, I wanna jump. Jump to the point, let me do it this way. Okay, it's not in here, it's gotta be in the third third chapter let's try the third chapter let's see if it's in here that was good too okay let me go to Fifth verse, Second Peter three verse five. For this they willingly are ignorant of that, by the word of the Most High, the heavens were of old, and the earth standing out of the water and in the water, the water in, 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 you know overcame them, whereby the world that then was being overflowed with water perished. But that's the, but there's a second death. But the heavens and the earth, which are now by the same word, are kept in store, reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and perdition of who? Ungodly men. And those ungodly men are talking about Israelites, the ones that are not a part of the elect. You don't want to be a part of the ungodly men. You don't want to suffer the death that's 
set up for Esau. Ain't that a bitch? You're going to die the death of Esau, man. You're going you're gonna to feel his punishment. Anyway, let me uh, come back over here. It says, uh, and when does, when does second resurrection? It's actually the first resurrection. You can say second take place. Um, uh, the second resurrection that the, the, you can say is is the is, a, is the uh, the Most High delivering us from the second death when Babylon is nuked. How'd you get nuked from? Where'd you get nuked from? From us, Revelation twenty verse eleven. It it is my understanding that we must all appear before the throne of judgment to give an account. Now that's spoken of in um, the second Ezra's, I mean, it's the second, second, second Corinthians uh, five, you read down here from the top. Every time you die, you go to go before the spiritual realm. And then you got have a, a body prepared for you in the next life, reincarnation. Where will, and then it says for every word. Now, how many words have you spoken in your life? From the time you said mama and dada to your last dying words. How many words, a million words, a billion words? So the most high, going, he going to check the record on every soul on the earth. There's almost 9 billion souls. So he going, okay, now it's your turn. Let's go through you. Let's read your record. No, it's, this is what you got. You got to fucking understand. The scriptures are not always literal. Sometimes they're literal, sometimes they're spiritual. Sometimes you can read a verse, part of the verse could be literal, the other part could be spiritual. When, when John saw the woman, he didn't actually, he saw an actual woman, but it wasn't a woman, it was America. When he saw the beast, he saw a beast, but it really represents NATO and the EU. Just to give you an example. And if the if like I said the, the Ethiopian eunuch, how can I know unless someone guide me? If you're not guided, you're going to be lost. And, and you shouldn't be listening to no. You shouldn't be watching no other Israelites out there. You shouldn't be watching IUIC, ICBK. You shouldn't be watching any of them. You shouldn't be watching any of them. Stay away from that. Those are demons. Where will demons? <laughs> Where will demons be tormented? That's more. That's a parabolic. In other words, the most I'm going to send demons to hell because they're spirits. Okay. The most I designed the demons to to live in a body. That's why the demons are in you. They're not happy. See, when you wake up, anybody that wakes up and a demon comes on off of you, he's not happy. His he's designed to be in somebody. You have animals with demons on them, but a demon would rather be in a human to influence the mind. Okay, Luke 24, 40, 45, then open up the understanding that they might understand the scriptures. See, your, your mind is not open up because you came in pursuant to uh, John 10 and 1 another way. And straightway the father of the child cried out and said with tears, Lord, I believe, help me, help thou my understanding. The only way you're going to be, you're going to get an understanding of this thing is be guided by a man, but you have to be a part of the elect. So if you're not a part of the elect, you're not going to get it. You're going to get some things and then you're going to lose it. What does it say in Matthew 13, around about the 12th verse? Everyone shall receive and he that uh, receiveth not shall, shall be taken away, even that he have. I'm paraphrasing. Uh, Luke X 17 11. Uh, these were more noble than those of Thessalonica in that they received the word right. And that's and see that that doesn't apply to you. You got to humble yourself down. You're just a baby in this game. You're just and you're off and you don't realize that you have spirits on you. Now, the only thing you do is I suggest you go on the fast. Flush yourself as Elder Manatazak, uh, oh, Elder Manatazak Manat Manat said, 
Okay, and not the Zach part said that, flush yourself. So he's aware of you too. You need to fast, D just giving you suggestions. You do what you want to do and truly humble yourself and go to sleep, get up as a new creature and start from scratch and just follow GMS because you're going to get more demons on you follow these other groups. Anyway, with that, I'm going to say shalom. I went a little over, but that's all right.